What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to show you how we're gonna install most add-ons inside of Blender. So if there are any questions, leave a comment down below, but this should walk you through how you're gonna be able to install most add-ons moving forward from version 2.80 and above. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is going to teach you how to install add-ons in Blender, assuming they come in in a zip file. Most add-ons anymore from the Blender market or elsewhere come in as a zip file. If they don't, there may be some slightly different stuff that you need to do. But for this, we're just gonna use the Drop It add-on as an example, um, just because you can download this one for free and it comes in as a zip file. So you can go to this page, find this add-on, you can just enter a value of zero, or if you like the add-on, you can uh, throw the developer a little bit of money. But we're just gonna click on the I want this, and this'll download a file that we're then going to install inside of Blender. And so if you look at this, this comes down to the zip file. Now this is where most people are making mistakes. So what they're doing is they're getting this zip file and they're extracting it. So they're right clicking and clicking extract all and then trying to install the folder that it extracts. Don't do this. Blender is capable of installing these from a zip file. So just leave it as is and then go into Blender and to install it, you're just gonna go up to edit, preferences, and you're just gonna click on install and you're gonna go find that zip file. Again, you want the zip file, you don't want to extract this. So always start with this. And then you're just gonna click on the button for install add-on. And so what that's gonna do, assuming that everything has gone properly, is it's gonna tell you that it's installed it. It's gonna pop up a little notification down here. But what you wanna do now is you want to go find that by searching for it and make sure that you've checked the box to enable it. So it's not enough to install it, you also need to enable it. And then when you do this, your add-on should show up inside of Blender. So if I was to add a mesh right here, right click, you can see how drop it now shows up as one of my options. So in general, this is the process that you are going to follow. Now there is an occasional case where you download a file and it has a Python file inside of it. I don't wanna to talk too much about that right now. I more wanna focus on the fact that most of the issues that I'm seeing come from people extracting the folder and then trying to install it. By So start by trying to install the direct zip file and then if that still doesn't work, then you can start looking for other options. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you found it helpful, if this is information that you knew about, or if you're having any issues with your add-ons. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.